hey, here's a picture of a bunch of angles here, and we're told a lot of things about them. The first thing we know is that the measure of angle PMR, PMR, so that's that really, really big angle there, that has measure 65 degrees. So we're told that. So that's a piece of information that we can use, this entire angle, 65 degrees in measure. The measure of angle QMR, let's see where that is, QMR, so that little wedge right there, that turns out to have a measure of 38 degrees. The question and challenge for us is, what's the measure of angle P, M, Q. So that little measure right there, what is it? Well, how can we figure it out? It turns out that if we use the angle addition postulate, we're allowed to actually compute this. The angle addition postulate says that the measure of this little angle right here plus the measure of that angle right there is going to equal the measure of the entire angle out here. This measure plus that measure equals that measure. Now, if we apply that here, what would we see? We would see that the entire measure is 65 degrees. And what does that equal? It equals the measure of this angle here, which we know is 38 degrees, plus the measure of this mysterious angle at the moment, which I'll just write as the measure of angle PMQ. Well, now this is an equation just in terms of the measure of angle PMQ, and I can solve for it by undoing the addition of 38 degrees by subtracting 38 degrees from both sides. And when I do that, that doesn't upset the scales and balance. This drops out. I'm just left with the measure of angle PMQ. But on this side, I have 65 degrees minus 38 degrees, which equals 27 degrees. And so that measure right there, that little teeny angle, turns out to be 27 degrees. Here we could see an example of the angle addition postulate working for us in order to resolve this fun little question.